like, you know, how's this movie going to end, Natalie? You know, I mean, uh, I also want to ask her, like, if your personality changes. I believe it does. You know, once you lose your virginity, your personality changes. And it, um, so uh, she's a real sweet person. If you hear her voice on the radio, you'll see that she's really sweet. And I also read recently that this uh, woman, I think she's Scottish, that is on like the British, uh, um, the British Idol show, you know, where they sing. That woman, I don't remember her name, but uh, she's not that pretty. But they're saying that uh, she is a virgin and and she has a very unusual personality. And, and you notice it more in an older person, you know, if they're a virgin or not. You know, it's just like uh, they have a different kind of personality. So I kind of wonder if Natalie is really going to go through with this. She, you know, she originally started out to try to get enough money to go to school. She's auctioning her virginity in this uh, Nevada brothel, the Bunny Ranch, outside of Carson City, Nevada, which is the capital of uh, Nevada. And I, when I was driving through there uh, to go to the Burning Man Festival, I saw these brothels outside of town, and I kept thinking to myself, they must have a lot of politicians, you know, they're away from home, and so I bet they get a lot of politicians going in there. And uh, so she's tr she, the, the bidding on her virginity is all the way up to $3.8 million. And apparently the highest bidder is somebody in Australia. So uh, she's also got a book deal going, and she says that she's going to explain in the book, you know, the motives of these guys, you know, why they want to do it. But, like, her producer or her agent wants to have this movie turn into a romance. So I don't know if she's found romance, but I started falling into love with her. You know, I helped her get on MySpace, and uh, I, I broke her MySpace cherry comments, but she, uh, I contacted her boyfriend, you know, and, uh, I, and she didn't like that. You know, I sent him a MySpace her boyfriend was like one of her top friends, you know, and she was wondering, how did I find her boyfriend? I mean, uh, yeah, he was one of her top friends. So um, she'll be on the uh, one of these, uh, blo it's blog talk radio. She she's going to be on this Sunday at 9 p.m. Pacific times. So you got to Google, Google Sin City Sessions and, and go to their blog uh, and you should sign in early because it takes a while. If, if you haven't logged in there, um, you can't be on the chat room. So if you log, get on early and log in and, and get, get in the chat room and you can listen over the computer. And you can call in too. There's a call-in number. So I hope to, to get on her show. And uh, I, was with, I was on the Laura Ingraham show like when Natalie Dillon was on there, I don't remember when it was, in January or February or something, and uh, I got through. I was like the only caller to get through the Laura Ingraham show. And um, I said, hi, Natalie, how you doing? And uh, Laura Ingraham was trying to um, browbeat and, uh, and shame Natalie Dillon for what she's doing, but it didn't work. You know, she... Uh, Natalie has two jobs. She brought that up, you know. The and Laura was trying to shame her, so I, I called in there and said, "Oh yeah, you know, I've prostituted myself before, and uh, you know, it's no big deal. You know, you, you can, you know, it's just a practical. It's kind of a sad thing that people have to do it, you know, but uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. You know, you can get a disease, and that's." part of the reason that they charge so much but people at the bunny ranch they have to be tested like every week for sexually transmitted diseases and you're required to wear a condom and like if any of the prostitutes end up with HIV then the brothel owner gets fined too so they try to keep the uh, customers and everybody else disease free but uh, yeah, I don't know if she's going to go through with this or not. You know, it's going to change her personality. I, I've been trying to encourage her to uh, make a video out of it, you know, and to take a picture of her hymen, you know, to show the world. And I wanted her to send the picture to me and uh, or let me take it. I offered to go to San... She lives in San Diego. And I 
sent her an email saying, hey, come on, let me come over and take this picture and put it up on the internet. And I'd sure, I, I'm sure I'd get like a million views at least, you know, Natalie Dillon Hyman right here. You know, and Hy Hyman pictures are very rare on the internet. And um, I've only seen one real good one. It was by uh, some educational uh, uh, university put it up. And it's like, um, anyway, if I could have put my uh, 666's money on the picture, then I could have put keywords on it and things like that, and I'm sure I would have gotten a million views. And then they could have all gone to my website. Like I, I told Natalie, I said, hey, come on, you know. I was starting to fall in love with her, and, I, and she gave me her phone number. I didn't even ask for it. But like uh, that's the way I think that we could save the world, is if I could hook up with somebody rich and famous like Natalie, or well, they don't have to be rich, but famous, you know. And I kept telling her, you know, like during the 60s, the hippies, you know, Abby Hoffman and Jerry Rubin and John Lennon, they would always look for ways to get the media attention. You know, one time Jerry Rubin and Abby, Hoff and, um, and Abby Hoffman took a bunch of $1 bills and threw them over the, 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 the balcony at the uh, stock market, the uh, New York Stock Exchange. And that's now why they have glass up there when you go in there. I have never been in there, but they say that the, after they... Jerry Rubin and Harry Hoffman did that. So, like, if Natalie Dillon would um, hook up with me, then, you know, I, I would, I wanted her to do a deflowering video, and it's a whole genre of pornography where they uh, allegedly deflower these virgins, but, you know, some of them don't really look like virgins. But anyway, I've got to go, and uh, go to my website. You can uh, find some of my pictures of my latest uh, vacation. Anyway, my name is Raquel. In order to buy or sell, you have to have the money of the beast on your mind or in your hand. And it's one of those words not translated correctly. God bless. Peace and love. Bye.